Mick McCarthy made 11 changes from the side that had drawn against Preston in the championship three days earlier and it showed as lead to Portsmouth looked the higher ranked side for large spells of this third round replay. The home side started well as Adam Barton set Mark McNulty through on goal only to be denied by Bartosz Bialkowski in the Ipswich goal. The teams continued to look poles apart and the South Coast club deservedly made the breakthrough just after the half hour mark. Peter Malachik bringing down Gary Roberts in the area, penalty awarded. Roberts picked himself up and converted the spot kick himself against his former club despite Balkowski's best efforts. The Tractor Boys were unbeaten in their past 15 trips to Portsmouth in all competitions, a record stretching back to 1966, but that looked in further jeopardy when Gareth Evans made space on the right, his cross finding McNulty, the on-loan Sheffield United forward heading home his eighth of the season. In the second half, the same link-up nearly added to the home side's advantage. Evans finding McNulty in space once again, but this time Balkowski was able to stop him and the Scot unable to grab his second from the follow-up. Ipswich had been eliminated in each of their past two FA Cup ties against lower-ranked opposition, but with half an hour remaining, they rescued some hope of this fixture not becoming three. Arsenal loney Ainsley Maitland-Niles evading challenges before his pinpoint drive reduced the deficit. However, things didn't end well for the visitors, and Malachik in particular. Having given away a penalty for the opening goal, the pole then received a second yellow for a foul on Roberts followed by the inevitable red. Portsmouth easily saw out the remainder of the game against 10 men Ipswich. Their reward for the upset, a South Coast derby at home to Premier League Bournemouth. 2-1 the final score.